Hey guys, it's me, Cookie Jar Monster 101, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch with mainly 3.0, 3.1, and 3.1.2 firmware. Now I'm pretty sure this will work for other firmwares. If it doesn't, you want to hold the home and the power button for about 10 seconds if you get stuck, or just restore it with iTunes, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get started. You want to get on your internet? I recommend Firefox, but you can use whatever you have. And you want to go to this site, blackra1n.com. I'll put the link in the description for you guys. And this is known as Black Rain. This is a program that we're going to use to jailbreak your device. And once it loads, it'll say black weather. It doesn't matter. This is a picture that will come up on your device when you're jailbreaking it. This is known as George, the, um, kind of like the founder or the person who created this. And you want to scroll down and click on the type of computer you're using. If you're on a Mac, click on the Apple logo. If you're on a Windows, Vista, or XP, you want to click on that one. I'm going to click on that one. Doesn't matter, and it'll say file. Yes, like that. Oops, sorry. Now, you want to open it and drag it to your desktop if you can. And if you're using an iPod Touch, this will sometimes, people say it's tethered, which means you have to, res you have to um, click on black rain each time you, ins you insert your device on your computer. I'm not sure, you could just find that out some other way. Okay, so you want to click run. This is the one button that we're going to use to jailbreak your device. Okay, so once you just click run, you want to make sure that your device is plugged in like this. Okay, and now you want to click make it rain. I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. It's going to say entering recovery. It's going to reboot your device. And then... Apple logo, iTunes with USB cord, then it's going to show the guy with the iPhone and iPod touches, and you're going to have to wait till it reboots, and it'll say right here, your jailbreak is done once the device reboots. For tethered, run again to boot. If this was the simplest jailbreak ever, please go to blackbrain.com and donate to support future development. If you paid anything to the software, demand a refund. Available free app from BlackRain.com. Funded solely up on after-the-fact donations. Now this will... It rebooted your device. And now I'll show you how to get Cydia. And how to do stuff like that. Okay, so now you just got jailbroken. So you want to click on Black Rain, which is going to be on your device, and it will show a couple of apps in the beginning. What I suggest you to do is just install Cydia. Do not install Rock, Icy, or Snow, or Snowy, whatever it's called, because those aren't really that good. You can upgrade to Black, the Black Rain app if you want to install Black Snow, and remember, do not install all three of the apps at the same time because it'll damage your device and it's going to be really hard to restore. So what you want to do is you want to click Cydia and then you want to click install. I'm not going to install it because I already have it, but basically what Cydia does is that it'll let you like manage search sources, it'll let you like have installers which lets you get free apps can search for stuff and you can decorate your iPhone or iPod Touch just like I did right here fancy I have more stuff and you can do all this cool kind of stuff so that is how you jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch with 3.0, 3.1, and 3.1.2 firmware remember I'm not responsible for whatever happens to your device you can restore it with iTunes if you like and if you have if you have any problems and you're stuck during the process, click the home and the power button 
hold it for about 10 seconds. And then just ask me for something if you have any concerns. And that's how you jailbreak your device. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.